Today we're going to make a no-bake, high-protein pumpkin pie cheesecake. It only has 5 grams of fat per slice, but it's so rich and creamy, you'll never know it. Super easy to make. Just mix a bunch of stuff in a bowl, throw it in a crust, into the refrigerator for a few hours, and then it's so thick. I'm going to cut a slice. We'll cut into it so you can see this in action. Okay, check this out. So, super thick, creamy, on that graham cracker crust. Got some fat-free Cool Whip on top. And look at this when I cut into it. Light, fluffy. Oh man, this stuff is so good. 12 grams of protein. Get out of here. Okay, let's get into the recipe. I know this is technically a no-bake cheesecake, but I wanted to give you the option to make this extra amazing. So what I'm doing here is separating an egg yolk from the egg white. We're going to mix that up and brush it on our crust and then bake it for about five minutes in a 375 degree oven. What this is going to do is not only make the crust more golden brown, it's going to kind of provide this protective layer and just hold things together. So after this is baked and our cheesecake filling sets, we won't have any crumbs when we cut each slice and everything will just hold together so much better. Totally optional though, you can go straight in the crust if you want to. Then we're gonna mix our filling. So we're looking at protein powder, a sugar substitute. I'm using Swerve, which is an erythritol based sweetener, pumpkin pie spice, canned pumpkin, and some fat free cream cheese. If you have one third fat, that works totally fine. The macros will just be slightly affected. Then we're gonna mix everything together. If you have a stand mixer, great. If not, a food processor works, or if you can really soften that cream cheese, a large whisk or even a rubber spatula will do. You just really have to, to get after it. Then we're going to mix in some fat-free or light Cool Whip. This is going to make things just extra fluffy, extra creamy. Uh, and then we'll just mix everything together. And then it goes straight into our crust. We're going to let this chill for at least four hours, but ideally eight plus. If you can go overnight, great. The longer it, it's in that refrigerator, the, the less chance you have of any kind of like run when you cut into each slice. Uh, especially if you're using a different protein powder. Since I'm using a whey case in here, it tends to be pretty thick. Uh, so if you're using a whey only and you don't adjust things, you'll want to make sure this really has time to set. And then that's it. Slice it, serve it with some fat-free Cool Whip, uh, fat-free Ready Whip, whatever you want, and enjoy.